Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. So Andra from Mass of Darkness 2 is Zenithal highlighted with Mechanicus Standard Grey and some Matte White. So we're going to be starting off with some new contrast paints. Yep, we're using new ones today folks. This is Black Legion. Sorry, Legion. <laughs> I've already used this one before. However, I really want to show what it looked like on a big scale miniature. So we start off with just his like little hooves. We start now we're doing his wings, which are massive. And as you can see, the Black Legion uh, does not lighten up as much as Black Templar. Now we're doing this on all of his skin as well and feathers. Now, yes, I hit his armor, but that's okay because we're going to cover it up later on with a metallic paint. And like you can see, so it doesn't get as light as Black Templar. So you have to be careful with this because it doesn't do highlighting like a technically would you know it's okay you can see there's still some gray to it now what i'm doing is i'm using some astarath red uh, it's a dry paint from citadel and i'm just getting the bottom edges and some of the feathers as well to make it look like there was almost some uh, osl coming from down below maybe where he was sitting or standing or wherever maybe there's some lava or something just to give it a little bit of you know different perspective here gadagax sewer now i've used this one too as well uh, this is a new contrast uh, that just came out recently and I'm using this on his belt and his straps. Again, I'm loving this one for leather or pouches or leather armor and stuff like that. This is uh, just an amazing brown color. Uh, it's a little less yellow than snake bite leather, so great one to use. Ball Red. Haven't used this one before. This is brand new. I'm just using this right now on the hilt of his beautiful sword. Uh, I, I found it a little too red and I forgot to record it, but I do put a wash or a shade, sorry, in one of the new ones and I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the new shades and uh, it just does a good job on highlighting that area. Now we're using Luxian or Luxian, Luxian Purple. This is also a new contrast paint, uh, first time I'm using it as well. It is much lighter than uh, Magos Purple, but less light than Shyish Purple. So, but it does a good job as well, but I find uh, it lets through the white a little too much. So I will put a wash on top of it and you'll see that later on, uh, but it's still good. Like, I mean, it's, it's amazing, but a big miniature sometimes is harder and I do agree that these ones uh, do get a bit chalky. That was a bit of a blood rage shade or something like that. Uh, now we're using some Imperial Fist on his eyes. And here's the Lucius Lilac. This is the dry paint. We're going to be putting this on the edges of uh, all his nice big robes here. Some people painted him red, his robes. Others I didn't see. I mean, I just went with a nice purple just to make it a little different on the table. All right, now we're going to be doing all that magnificent armor of his, which is pretty much the entirety of the rest of the miniature. Uh, we're going to use some Grey Knight's Steel. Uh, it has a blue hint to it. You've seen me use this before. It is a good paint, a good metallic. Um, after taking the pictures and doing the video of the rotation at the end, I noticed it was way too silvery, like too bright. Uh, so I ended up putting on, uh, what's it called? Hold on a second, I gotta take a look. Targor Rage Shade, okay? So it's, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not sure if it has a purple hint to it or not, but, or brown hint. I couldn't tell exactly, but it works. And I think it was nice on the Grey Knight Steel. I'm also doing all that armor on his chest. I also, uh, and, yeah, and those spikes at the back of his head. So now I'm using a lead belcher here uh, for the sword itself, like for the actual blade, uh, because I want it to be a little different than his armor. Then we're gonna use some Retributor armor. It's a gold color, a gold paint. And we're gonna put this on like the, I don't, how do you call this part of the sword? I never under, never knew this part. The handguard? I think it's the handguard actually. Uh, and all the little dots on his armor. I'm gonna go around and do all that as well, just to make him uh, really pop on the table. You know, you want this to be looking pretty nice. Even if it's not parade ready, it's table ready, right? You still want him to be like, oh wow, look at this guy on the table. This is intimidating. I also do a little dab in his eyes just to make his eyes shine a bit more. And then this is where I put that shade on all his robes. So it's Druki Violet or Druchi Drukai whatever it is. Uh, so this just adds a little bit more darkness and depth to those robes. It still keeps that highlight of the dry paint I put on a while ago once it dries. It looks great. It does a great job. Uh, and it just makes it look a little less matte as well. 
So there you have it folks, Andra, a roaming monster from Massive Darkness 2 is painted and ready for that table. I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one.